Hi guys and welcome back to another Dot Trace video and today we're going to be playing MotoGP 23 and it's time for another MotoGP Academy video. Today it is Hareth with Maverick Vinales. On screen is my controller overlay. If you want to pause the video now you can do so but other than that let's crack on with the video. So from the first sector we're going to go firm on the brakes into turn one. You've got to be braking quite early there. That barrier to the left hand side with the sponsor board is a great spot to start braking. Use that as a guide and then start braking at the shadow of the Michelin sign for the Michelin corner there for turn two and then back into the left hand side for turn three. Now this couple of corners are going to require some very gentle acceleration. Be smooth and calm with the throttle, nothing too aggressive. Otherwise you'll make a couple of mistakes. So we're going to start from the back coming out of Lorenzo corner underneath the spaceship looking for that sponsor board on the left hand side of the screen you see it you start braking it's a great spot notice that because we're going up the hill into turn one we don't want to be braking firm to the maximum we want to be braking just enough to slow down the aprilia change of direction you need to be smooth and precise with your analog stick and again gentle upon the acceleration use a bit of brake into turn four if you have to to try and bring the bike in a bit tighter so now for sector two, this is a very fast one, so it shouldn't be too difficult. So break into the right hand side for the Cito Pons corner. I'm going to show you a wider line first, and then we'll try a tighter line. But to be honest with you, it's a very easy section, this one. So I don't doubt that you guys will be able to get the gold without too much issue. So once again, let's see it once more. We're going to go over to the left hand side, start breaking at those Alpine size barriers. Get over to the right to the Cito Pons, a little bit tighter this time but nice enough to bring on the ride out device, to bring on the power, move the Aprilia to the left hand side of the circuit and get across the line. So swiftly moving across now to sector 3, we'll wait for the autopilot to leave us alone and then we can charge towards the Danny Pedrosa corner. Breaking roughly at the 150 meter marker, so right in between of the 100 meters and the 200 meters will set you up perfectly for the Danny Pedrosa corner every time. Tight to the apex on, upon your exit, nice smooth acceleration and you should get out of there just fine. Now coming into some of the more difficult parts, into the braking zone on the left hand side of the tyre for the Jorge Martinez Aspar corner. Try and keep the bike in the middle or tight to the apex. Back across into the Angel Nieto corner going right and then square it up into the middle of the track. So let's have another look at sector 3. Once again we're going to be waiting for the autopilot and now there is the 200 metre, there's the 150 metre. Right on cue, braking nice and gentle but firm into the Pedrosa corner, very tight to the apex to position your bike over to the right hand side so then you can swing into turn 7. Tight apex there, begin to square the bike up, start braking on a lean angle into the Martinez Aspar corner and keep it in tight. Square it off going into the middle of the circuit and back to the left, bring it in with a nice gradual lean to the turn 9 and then across you've done this section. Okay, so now for the final sector before I show you the full lap in its entirety. So into the right hand side, they're very tight to the apex, running across the rumble strip for Pelequi, but now running a little bit wider for Crivier, back across into the tightest part of Ferrari. Careful about carrying too much speed there because you will run off the track. And as you see that white line near the pit lane, pit lane entrance, it's a great spot to break for the Lorenzo corner, but that was a lot to take in in just one attempt so let's see it again in a moment so across the line that is the gold and of course don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the content so far but once again in sector four nice tight apex of Pelequi will bring on the power and keep the bike straight bring on the power and just re reach over to the right hand side for the 150 meter marker back across again to Ferrari for turn 12 and now for turn 13 right there at the shadow or at the white line if you're brave enough Anywhere before that point is good, anywhere later than that shadow will not let you stop by that time into the rental corner. So across the line that's another gold for us today. So then let's piece everything together, what we've just learned in these couple of sections and put it all together in this one complete lap. I'll actually be doing two laps but this is the first one out of two today. So into the braking mark for Michelin, braking at the city sign as mentioned earlier into the shadow. Now to the left hand side, keeping it over to the left and squaring it up somewhat near the rumble strip, then back across to the left. Also using a bit of front brake there just to bring on the tightness to the apex. It just cuts down on the understeer that you may be suffering. So into Cito Ponds, favouring the middle line to have that V-shaped line like the Hondas do, um, usually in MotoGP. So with the ride out device on, waiting for the 150 metre marker, braking firm, not exactly slamming on the brakes, just 
enough to get the Aprilia RSGP stopped. A little bit wide there, but now into the left-hand side. We'll keep it in tight for turn seven. Very tight, almost like what Valentino Rossi did a good couple of years ago, maybe 2016 or something. So into turn eight, once again very tight. Almost made a smart, slight mistake there, went too tight for the apex. It is possible to do, but into the Nieto corner for turn nine. Pretty strong, now into Pelaqui, keep it in tight, beautifully done there for turn 10. Keep off the rumble strip to the left and bring it into the right hand side. You can trail brake in to the 11th corner, but just be very careful you don't press the brake too much and end up losing the front. And now into turn 13, there is the shadow, braking nice and gentle, nice and firm for the Renzo corner. And we'll come out with the ride height device, keeping away from abusing track limits and keeping in the middle of the circuit to ensure we get the gold. So let's just do one more lap before I conclude the video. So across into turn one, breaking at that sign that I mentioned earlier on. Very tight to the Expo 92. Looking for that city shadow. There it is, breaking in nice and tight to Michelin. You can break a little bit firmer than I'm showing you there, but I'm trying to give you an idea of what is optimal rather than pushing to the maximum. If we don't really need to push to the maximum for these challenges, and we shouldn't, we'll only do when we really require it. So into the right now for Cito Pons. Still favouring that middle part of the line. Already clicked into the ride out device, waiting to launch, launch on the power. And we now look for the 150 metre braking marker. I know it's not visible, but you can work it out within those two markers there. Downshifted to first there too many times, that's my mistake. Don't replicate that there. But into turn seven once again, nice and tight. Square up the bike once again. Chuck it back over to the left-hand side, braking on that angle very calmly. If you're ever going to brake on an angle, make sure you don't hit the anchors at full pelt. Now into Angel Nieto corner for turn nine. Square up the bike, back into the right-hand side for Pelaqui. Looking pretty solid on this lap as well. And I'm not exactly pushing over too much. No, it was just a nice, gentle pace. So if you guys can follow this... It will set you up nicely for learning these tracks. And of course, breaking at the shadow again into the Lorenzo corner for the final time of today's video. We'll bring on the power for the final time. We'll get across the line and this will be, yet again, another gold. So guys, thank you for watching the video. I do hope this has helped. If it has, let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll be sure to cover a lot more MotoGP 23 guides. So guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and even consider joining the Dot Trace pit crew to be part of the team. Thanks for watching guys and ciao for now. Oh hi, didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Trace content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dot Trace video.